This is Oracle's data science platform, where today we will be working on machine learning tasks. As the data is self-generated, we will be using the Python library Faker. But before that, some of the important libraries which need to be installed are Dataset Factory, Oracle AutoML Provider, AutoML, ADS Evaluator, etc. from ADS. After we've done this, we will be generating our data by importing Faker and further Pandas libraries. So this is the data we've generated, which is based on employee attributes and attrition levels in respect to the HR department. The data has many attributes like age, stock option, marital status, income, education level, etc. Once the data has been created, it gets stored in our directory, and thus we can utilize the data by using pandas and further evaluate. Oracle Data Science Platform has an excellent inbuilt feature, Dataset Factory, where we can find the correlations and explore the important features where it'll show us the mean values, skewedness, and missing values in the data. Also, by clicking on the feature visualization, we can find the samples, data type, and unique values count in the different attributes in the data. This is the correlation matrix, where the auto ML feature shows the best correlation among the variables in the dataset, which helps in performing our machine learning operation. After splitting the dataset, we will utilize Oracle AutoML to predict the best algorithm and method for us to proceed further. As we can see, the best algorithm which has been suggested by AutoML is Adaboost Classifier. We can even see the visualizations of the algorithms by using the algorithm selection trials. Let us go quickly ahead and perform the machine learning on our data by using the auto ML feature. We can see that the accuracy of the model is 50%. Recall value is 60.72% and the precision is 49% on testing data. The same goes for the training, where the values are as follows. As the data which we have generated is random and fake data, we won't be focusing on the accuracy as of now. Also at the end, we can see the important features of the data which is having a huge impact on the attrition. Last but not least, we'll be connecting our dataset to the Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse, where we can connect it to Oracle Analytics Cloud to visualize our work. We will first be creating a table so we can import our employee data. As our data is now connected with the ADW and ready to use for ADW and OAC, we'll go ahead and connect our ADW to OAC. For this, first we'll create a data set. As we can see, we've got an ADW connection here where we have our employee data stored. As for this process, we've decided to perform clustering to gain a new and different insight from the data set. Thus, we've created data flows and applied the k-means clustering. We will go ahead and directly open the project as we've done the clustering in OAC earlier. So here are the visualization canvases. So we've made six clusters and each one has a different level of attributes and features. So for example, in this canvas and graph, there are 259 who are in the category of attrition belonging to cluster two, whereas 277 belongs to cluster one. The filter at the top left has been set to one for attrition and we can put it as two for further evaluation. In the next canvas of job analytics, the graphs are having different features on the basis of jobs perspective.
Likewise, the nutrition details is showing us the percentage and level of attrition which has happened in the organization in terms of male, female, department ratio. We can also perform the analysis according to our lookout and need. And for the final one in the demo, the attrition level is in respects to counts by department, average employee loss and average employee stayed. Thus concludes our bite-sized analytics demo for performing machine learning tasks in Oracle Data Science Platform. Thanks for listening and please get in touch if you have any questions.